Okay, gang, Best Arc has sent me their seventh generation 50 amp plasma cutter with Pilot Arc. And we're gonna dig it out of the box here and see what we got. It's packed in there pretty good with some styrofoam and stuff to keep it from getting damaged. Got a box full of the wiring and torches and stuff, I'm sure. Here now we're coming out with the unit itself. It's pretty lightweight, which most of these inverter machines are. I don't see anything else in the box, so we'll open this other box. And there's a little, I guess, air hose for something. I don't know what, since it has a built-in uh, air regulator in the machine with a, a plug-in already there on the back side. Here we've got our ground clamp with the dense connector. And of course we've got our plasma torch. So the basic goodies, got our instruction manual. There was some other little fittings I didn't tell you about there that I set out. Here's the adapter. The plug on the machine is for 220 and the adapter adapts it down to be able to use it with a 110 outlet so you won't be getting your full 50 amps from 110 but you'll be able to cut sheet metal just fine so here's the torch and this a nice long one i don't know exactly how long it is but it's pretty long and the, it's got the connections for the trigger and the pilot arc so let's take this out and hook it up and and uh, see how it works. I've got it plugged into a 25 foot 12 3 extension cord. Now I'm gonna set the air. I'm gonna turn the regulator down to 65 because I'm gonna cut some, oh, probably I three that first switch inch steel. For air only. Or might be eighth inch steel. Yeah, I think it's eighth inch steel. So I'm gonna leave it at 65. I'm gonna turn the machine up to 30 for this patent steel. I don't know uh, what settings they recommend, but I usually use 20 on sheet metal. So on eighth inch steel, I'll go with 30. So let's get to cutting this here, eighth inch steel. This is my door bender. I'll just cut it and then I'll take one of my welders and demonstrate welding it back together. So it's all in fun. It cut that with no problem whatsoever little uh, jaggedy I'm sure with my unsteady hand wiggling it around we'll take a look at it it's got a little bit of cutting slag on it from my sloppy cutting but it's not real super hot you know it would burn me if I grab hold of it and held it but it didn't get it real real hot you can see the crooked cut I'm, but that's not the cutter's fault you can see the little silver spots on the black and rusty colored course for it. Those are my spot wells that I need cut out. And I'm going to be blocking your view with my head, but I'm taking the plasma cutter and piercing the metal and then making a little hole around the spot weld. So I'll carry this on as I go from one spot weld to the next. And then I'm gonna take my big 12 pound slide hammer with hook on it and grab hold of this course board up the top and give it a few whacks. Wow, those spot wells weren't nothing to a plasma cutter. Now, over here I did have a couple of spot wells that I didn't uh, think about there in the back side, but it ripped them out. But the other ones, I'll put my new course board up there and just weld those holes shut into it nothing to it the way we do it please touch my like thingy and subscribe damn it